Hey, you got from New Plastic, and today we'll get silky smooth with some satin textures. First off, I have a whole satin pack you can check out on my Gumroad store, along with 10 other different fabrics packs, all 100% procedural in Octane for Cinema 4D. They look awesome and cover a vast variety of fabric textures like velvets, knits, weaved suits, sheer, and much, much more. Overall, there are 159 materials, which you can also get as a full pack for a cheaper price. Since they're procedural, they're infinitely tileable with no repetition, endlessly customizable, and you can render them at any resolution without breaking them. So yeah, I'm super proud of this pack. If you feel like it can help you, I'll leave the links in the description. Also, you can buy some of the pins I made on my other Gumroad store, so check them out as well. Beyond that, consider supporting on Patreon or membership where you can find these project files, free products and other cool perks, but mostly help me make more and better content for y'all. Follow me on Instagram at ojang or the channel at brand new plastic. Subscribe, share, comment, go watch Midsummer. I just watched it recently and I loved it. Let's go. Before we start, I want to say something that kind of applies to many things in the 3D world. This and pretty much any other satin material you'll see aren't really that accurate. Getting an actual satin sheen is pretty much impossible to achieve using materials only. It's an extremely complex reflection that in real life is achieved by the way the threads are weaved together in the fabric. So in the 3D world, in order to get that complexity, you would probably need to have actual geometry weaved in that way. The obvious problem with that is that you will need hundreds of millions of tiny polygons. And not only that's completely unusable, it might not even work that way due to the limitations of path tracing technology. It's just something to keep in mind. You can get kind of close, but it'll never be real satin. And therefore, there's probably many different techniques you can use to get there. What I'll show you isn't the right way, it's just one way. So let's take a few seconds to understand what we're actually making. Satin and silk are usually used interchangeably, but they're not the same. Silk is a natural fiber that's used to create fabrics from, like cotton or wool. Satin is a weaving technique. It's a type of a weave pattern which reacts to the light in a way that gives us this familiar sheen. You can make satin fabrics from silk, from cotton, from synthetic fibers, and you'll get slightly different looks, but as long as you weave them in a satin way, you'll get that familiar sheen. We're not going to focus on the weave part, we're just going to focus on achieving that special sheen, which is why I'm going to start with the weave material we made last tutorial. We don't have to, but we already made this, so why not use it and start off strong? Okay, I'll just scale down the weave pattern. And let's add a composite texture with two layers. Plug the weave system to layer one using a gradient node. And plug a fall off node to layer two using a gradient node as well. Let's plug this into the albedo and see what we're working with. First, let's invert the falloff values and let's pull down the factor to get more blacks in, but up the maximum value to make them more gray. Now let's make the gradient go from black to white and at the end to dark gray again. Something like this where we're kind of clamping the falloff node and making it a bit more complex. And we're going to keep adjusting this later to nail the look better, but let's move on. Let's change the blend mode to soft light. So now we're mixing it with the weave pattern, but let's make the weave pattern way less contrasty and make it all kind of mid gray. Cool, so we're not completely affecting the look of the fall off, but we're getting some of the fabric texture. Let's add a gradient node and we're going to set the colors here. So pick a bright and dark tone of your favorite color, add a color correction node for quick adjustments, and let's see how we're looking. Okay, something is starting to happen. Let's plug the color gradient into the specular channel as well. Okay, now let's make the gradient that used to be in the specular channel less contrasty and plug it into the metallic channel. So we're starting to get some of the metallic effect the satin sheen has. Let's try and up the IOR and compare it to the lower IOR. And I like that, we're kind of brightening up the sheen. And since we have some metallic here, we can increase the metallic IOR as well. And I think that also made a difference, maybe not, but let's keep it. Let's pull back the white notch on the bump gradient and make it grayer. This will make the bump less harsh and will focus the specular channel a bit more so we get a more defined sheen. Nice, let's plug the same gradient into the rotation channel and up the anisotropy just a little bit. This will make the sheen a bit more interesting when changing against the light source. Okay, I mean, this is beautiful. Uh, it's a bit subtle, but we can play with the color correction.
or we can even add two different colors to the albedo gradient to get a more of a two-tone sheen. I think we're going to have to adjust the fall off a bit to get a nicer mix between the colors. Mm, just got to play around with the gradients to get the right mix. And this looks okay. I do want to actually tone down the scratches layer on the weave pattern. If you saw the weave tutorial, you'll know what I'm talking about. I feel like this helps bring out the sheen even more. Yeah, this is fucking sick. I also want to bring out the tiny black parts from in between the weaves. So I'll just add a darker notch clamped right at the end of the weave gradient. Yeah, subtle, but adds a bit more contrast. Okay, and last thing, we can probably increase the sheen contrast even more by duplicating the color gradient and plugging it into the specular channel. So now we can make the albedo gradient bright color even more bright without affecting the specular channel. Since we want to stay away from really bright specular because it'll start to feel reflective. And then even darken the dark notch on the specular gradient and even clamp it in and maybe brighten the metallic gradient to increase the metallicness of the sheen. And if we compare it to the previous look, yeah, I might like this better. You can really feel the sheen here. I think we should bring in the bright notch of the specular channel a bit more to make it stronger. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's it. We'll probably go into do velvet next time and explore some more looks. I'm having fun with these. If you want a whole bunch of satin materials, check out the satin pack on my Gumroad, or you can get the whole fabric pack with 159 materials. Check out the enamel pins, links to all in the description. Consider Patreon or membership. And my hat off to all my illustrious patrons and members. Yin and Gong, Guillaume Lopez, Dave Toro, Marie Robbins, Svoyas Chari, Eric Hu, Daniel Larry, Minky Kim, Hader, Leo, Petter Odiger, Yan Ji Shin, Chris Hyde, Alda Boyd, Ferong Ferong, Katie Royal, Derek Fredrickson, Biko Sun, Ruby Nine, Lucas Renche, Tell Me More, Jeskirat Pandrath, Bori, Jin Kwan Wu, Eric Lofton, Bruno Arrodondo, Cheki Aha, Domestic God in the House, Toby T, Farid Ali, David Lesser, Adam Traxler, Everyday Swiss, 3D Monkey Biz, Arlen, Suki Violet Su, The 22 Design, Joel Rieger, Adrian Desolé, Derek Schultz, Marie Sickendorf, The Studio Image, Matus Jodorzajewski, Blue Hamel, Mark Reagan, Joshua Akoi, Pongsukorn Siri, Webb, Kong Idiot, Maddie DeGualdre, Cho Yun Jun, NZE, IEMN, Golfino666, Ali Esser, Leandro Maramon, May, Baugasm, Shane, Perry Cooper, Hannah Kozeka, Oisin O'Brien, Joel Taylor, Faux Major, Kevin E. Quintero, Jeremy Bajana, Christina, Yatsu, Raquel Vela, Ezekiel Grand, Alex Jingyong Cho, Mate Sorokozi, Onur Koroglu, Takuki Chiba, Pablo Ritter, Sophia Wilton, David Hughes, Ramshad, Nick Davies, Kim Je, Riverstar 2190, LSD Honey, Mansev Canada, Alice Saturnis, Hugo Esconde, Ozan Shahin, and everybody else on the list. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.